is uh, the Curing Kids Cancer Week for us uh, here in our program, uh, similar to last year. Uh, certainly, I'm honored. We are honored to be able to participate uh, in this to raise awareness for this uh, amazing uh, group of people that last year when I stood up here didn't really know uh, much about, knew the story, but didn't know them personally and have been so blessed to have been able to get to know the Owen family uh, here over the last year and hear the story of Killian, their son that they lost at a young age to cancer, uh, heartbreaking. and. And uh, they came and spoke to our team back in the springtime and were phenomenal with our players. And, and so, so uh, uh, heartbreaking, their story. And uh, then our team was able to participate in an event in the springtime to help raise awareness uh, for this as well. So we're excited to do our part this weekend and, and looking forward to continuing to uh, bring awareness uh, to, this, to this group. Uh, going back to last week, too, I know I mentioned it on the teleconference, but certainly want to thank our fans for the environment and the atmosphere they created in williams Bright Stadium. Last Saturday, it was awesome, and I mentioned it on the teleconference. For those of you that, that weren't on there, that's all the recruits were talking about, thankfully. They weren't talking about the results on the field. Um, as soon as the game was over and finished visiting with you guys and the post-game radio and the TV show, I went home and immediately just started texting recruits and that's all they could talk about was the environment, the people, the, the ones that were there and the ones watching on TV. And then went to a recruiting dinner um, that night with uh, the two prospects and their families that were here for their official visit. And that's all they could talk about was the environment in that stadium and how awesome it was. And then at 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, I was in my office for my first of four recruiting meetings that day with prospects and that's what they wanted to talk about. So we appreciate our fans for the environment they created. Last Saturday, it was uh, awesome and made a difference with all the recruits that were there. Couldn't be more positive with them as well. From an injury standpoint, uh, Corey Rucker practiced today. It was great to see him out there. Uh, I know he was excited to get out there. Everyone that you're going to ask me about that was that didn't play last week or the ones that got hurt during the game, like Rush and Devani, uh, honestly, I would say that every single one of them are questionable as we stand here today, and that's not coach speak. They, uh, I can't sit here and guarantee that they're all going to play, and I can't sit here and tell you that they're not going to play. Um, some of them practiced today limited. Some of them didn't do much today in practice, but they all have a chance to play by Saturday, so we'll see how how tomorrow goes. That includes Cam. That includes, you know, obviously anybody but Mo Kava, Jordan Straw, and Chad Jarrell who are season ending. So keeping our fingers crossed that we'll get them all back. Uh, we'll need them all back against a, a Charl oh, Charleston Charlotte team that's uh, certainly getting better. Um, they have elevated their program over the last few years, and and the team that played the other night against Georgia State is a team that I think they felt like they were going to be going into this season. They return a lot of starters off last year's team. Their starting quarterback is about to be a four-time captain. I don't know if I've ever heard of that, where a, uh, an athlete uh, is going to be a captain on the team all four seasons. That says a lot about uh, that young man. He's our all-time leading passer. He got hurt in the first game, so he didn't play in their next two losses. He came back the other night against Georgia State and uh, is everything that he's built to be. He's a fantastic uh, player that's a great athlete. Uh, they've, got, they've got talented receivers on the outside. The Conference USA Freshman of the Year is one of them. The other one's a guy that's been an all-conference player every year that he's been at Charlotte. So they've got weapons on the outside. They scored more points on Georgia State than we did, and they scored more points on Georgia State than North Carolina did. And uh, I know North Carolina's playing pretty good offense this year up in Chapel Hill. So our defense has a big challenge. And then defensively, 